So let's have a look at this camera module in a bit more detail. The first thing we're going to look at are the options um, that are pre-built into the simple commands. So if you run the command um, raspi still and just hit enter, it will give you all the options. You can see there you have the ability to change the width, height, the, um, the thumbnail, the, you know, move it to demo mode. Um, you can change the brightness, contrast, and saturation, that type of stuff, the sort of things you'd expect on a, uh, a camera. And again, um, with the video, the Raspi video um, command, you have the same settings there again, um, exposure and that type of thing. So let's have a look at some of the uh, most basic ones we want to use. So first of all, we realized in the last video that the image was um, mirrored. So um, what we want to do now is to take a normal picture which is using the Raspi still minus O to output and then the name of the image. And then if we add this new tag to it, which is minus HF, which is horizontal flip, and um, hit enter on that, it will take a new picture, but it's going to horizontal flip the image and it will be um, mirrored. So I quickly transferred those onto my machine and you can see that the standard image is that way round and the horizontal flip is the other way round. So let's stream a video footage from our Pi to a Windows machine. The first thing we have to do is install two pieces of software, Netcat and mPlayer. So I'm going to put a link on the screen here which you can download a package I've put on my um, Dropbox and has both of those in um, one directory. So download that, unzip those files and you'll see in there there are um, two files. Uh, or two executables, the Netcat and the mPlayer software, which are going to run via the command line. And there's uh, the other two pieces of software. So we'll get to that in a minute, and then we need to quickly just install it on our Pi itself. So we have the corresponding software on the uh, Linux side. I'm going to run sudo apt-get install, install mPlayer and Netcat. Let that do its thing. Should be pretty familiar with this by now. Okay, so now we've installed all the software, let's actually stream some video footage. So uh, one of the first things we're going to have to do is to set up our Windows machine to actually listen um, for the video stream coming in with the transmission. Um, we're going to change into the directory where we've got our software and we're going to run this big long command here. Um, I won't go into too much detail but basically what it does is it sets up a listener on TCP port 5001 and then redirects the footage it receives to the software end player to actually be able to view the footage. Um, on the Pi we then need to actually transmit um, the video signal. So the first thing we're going to need to find out is um, on our Windows machine what is the IP address so we actually know where to send the footage, the video footage. And we can see there um, using the IP config command there is my IP address. And then we're going to head over to our Raspberry Pi and we're going to use the Raspi video command with the um, minus T for time, 99999, which is the basically infinite, um, pretty much, and then minus O to output it, and then we're going to pipe that, so direct that towards Netcat, which will transmit that footage on port 5001. That's basically what's happening with that command. So the video footage outputs to the Netcat software, which directs that and transmits it. When we hit enter on that, we can see that the uh, Windows uh, side starts to receive the footage, and in the bottom right hand corner of our taskbar you'll see this little icon M player which is now receiving the footage click on that and there's the live footage that you actually get um, from the video and you see it's pretty good quality now the video format that comes out of the um, Raspi video is a H264 file which is not normally easily read by things like Xboxes, Playstations, mobile phones that type of thing so we have to wrap it into an MP4 container so it can read it and we're going to um, convert it from H.264 to an MP4. It's not really a conversion, it's more of wrapping it in an MP4 container. So if we're going to install the software um, GPAC, which you guys should be familiar with, the uh, with that. And then we're going to run um, the command to actually convert the video. And it just does it very quickly. So the command is um, MP4 box um, minus add. And then we have the video file, which is video.h264, which is what the actual Raspi video um, sends out. And then we're going to output it to an output.mp4. And there is our outputted video into an mp4 format. 
Okay, let's have a quick look at time-lapse videos, which is taking a uh, picture every few seconds um, for a duration of time. I've got two SSH sessions open to the same Raspberry Pi. I'm going to make a directory to store our images in. And on the, on the left-hand side, we're going to run the actual time-lapse command. And on the right-hand side, we're going to run the watch command with watch space minus ls minus l, um, which will allow us to watch um, the directory listing of that directory and see the images as they're created every five seconds. There we go, set that up, that watch on the right hand side. Now we're going to run the time lapse command, which is the Raspberry Pi still to take images, output it, and there's the file name we're going to use. Time is how long we're going to run it for, which is about 30 minutes, and then TL is the time lapse setting, which is every five seconds. And as we run that command, we can see every five seconds um, a picture is taken and um, leave that long over a long enough period of time for half an hour and um, you'll have a 30 minute time lapse video that you can edit together at your leisure. Now the last thing you might want to do is there's a, a little red light that indicates the camera's running. It can be a bit annoying if you're doing this via um, a, through a window, it reflects and everything. So you might want to turn that off. What you can quickly do is just run the command sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash config dot text and then scroll to the bottom of this text file and there'll be a disable camera um, LED and put that to one. If it's not there, just add it to the bottom of the file and control X to exit and Y to save. Reboot your Pi and that, and next time you take a picture, the little um, red light will no longer be on. And don't forget, if you like what we do here, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to YouTube to get all the latest video blogs that we put out. And please leave comments in the comments field.